Hey everybody. Today for supper or lunch or whenever I feel like eating it, I'm gonna make a roast beef in the Cuisinart pressure cooker. Got a top round roast. I got three pounds here. I got my Cuisinart pressure cooker on browning mode. I put a little olive oil in there. And I'm gonna brown this a little bit first. All right, yeah. Can't find my big fork, so I got a little fork. Regular sized fork. Sizzle, 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 shizzle. I'll brown that a little bit. My roast beef, wowee, look out, stand back. That's browning mode, that's for sure. Woo, come on, come on. Oh, what's the matter with you? Must be wet. I think my meat's wet, that's why. All right, stand back till it calms down. All right, while that's on brown and sizzle mode, I'm gonna bust up a little bit of garlic and put it in there. All right, we know it. We, we left some garlic in there. Three or four cloves. Our browning mode's working good today, look at that. Now we, we don't want too brown. All right, I cleaned my garlic. I'm gonna chop it up. You got a little skin on that one yet, huh? Chop them up. Hey, you didn't clean them too good, did you? Put them in there. Put them in there. Chop them up as coarse or as fine as you like. You just want the flavor in there. Unless it's good for you, you know that. You could put onions, peppers, anything you like in here. Okay, and put that in. Sizzle up, sizzle. Let me turn off that browning mode. All right. Because we're getting crazy. Oh, yeah. Wow. Put that guy on the bottom. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm going to add one cup of water. Two cups of water. All right. Got my fancy Worcestershire sauce, which I like a lot. Put that all over. Put that all over. Just for flavor, you know? Worcestershire. Yum. Touch of liquid smoke. Because I like it. Just a touch. Couple squirts. Now, mm, that's smelling good. Steer it up, steer it up. Now you could put potatoes and carrots in here, but I'm not gonna do that today. Cause, you'll see why. Oh, it's so good. But I am gonna put in a little rack. See, I got this little rack. So I'm gonna lift up the meat, put the rack in the bottom. Oh. Lay it on the rack. So simple, isn't it? Get my lid, lock it in place, put it in pressure mode. I'm gonna set it on high pressure for 90 minutes. Cause that's what I want, that's why. Come on. 50, 60, 70, 80. Oh, 95. All right, we'll take 95. 95 minutes. I don't know if you can see that with the light there. And start. All right. Now when the pressure builds up, what are you listening to? When the pressure <laughs> pressure will build up in about five, 10 minutes, and it'll start cutting down. Then we're gonna have some good tender roast beef for Sunday afternoon.
or any day. I'll be back then. One minute, can't wait. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh boy. All right, let me let out the pressure. Let me put a towel up there so I don't burn myself. I splatter my cabinets. That smelled so good for an hour and a half. Oh boy. I'll be back when that pressure's out. Whoa. Mm. You wanna look in there? Anybody? Oh, it's hot. It shrank. Mmm. Let me get in my fork. See what it does in there. Wow, look. Tenderoni. <laughs> Wow. I'm gonna put it on a plate. Look at that Sunday roast beef. Oh, listen to it. See it? Mmm. I'm gonna have a pool roast beef sandwich. That's why I didn't put no vegetables in there. Mm. Alright. Put that aside and take my juice that accumulated. Let me get a pot holder. Take that rack out of there. Two pot holders. Because it's hot. Then we got some beef au jus, as you like to call it. I'm gonna pour that on there maybe, maybe on my sandwich. Look at, look how much went in there. Oh, wow, look at the garlic. All right, put some of that on there, the garlic. Don't waste any. Juice it up. We're juicing. All right, come over to the table. I'll let you watch me take a bite for a change. How's that sound? Hmm? Uh, why am I burping already? I got some good healthy bread. And some good healthy meat. Look at it. See, that's why I didn't put potatoes or uh, carrots in there, because I'm going to make a sandwich like this. Pulled roast beef sandwich. Take a big chunk, take a little chunk. Chunk, chunk, chunk it up. Ah, wowie. Ouch. And then, you can put whatever you want on here. Where's my juice? The juice is on the loose. It's gonna be juicy, messy, messy juice. Juicy mess. Messy juicy. <laughs> you could dip the whole sandwich in there. You know how they do that? Them French dip sandwiches. And my friend made these pickles, remember? You've seen them. Oh, wait. Horseradish. Horseradish first. Because I like it. You ain't gonna like it. Pickles on top of that. Mmm. You remember they dipped them sandwiches right in there? You remember that? French dipped. It's a mess and I don't care. It's going in. Mmm. 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 Heavenly. Okay, you can make a nice, easy roast beef like that, see? Put it in there for 90 minutes, 95, whatever. Put potatoes and carrots in if you want, or just make it like this. Look at this. And juice it up a little more. Ah! <laughs> Ouch! Mmm. <laughs> Tender. 
horseradish, pickles. I can't let go. Mmm. I'm not talking with my mouth full. <clears throat> I'll cut that part out. Okay, try it. You'll like it. I tried it and I liked it. And I sucked it all up. But I love it. Alright, I'll talk to you later. I'm enjoy it. See you around. All right.